But we've got a mega story brewing here in the NFL as the Miami Dolphins are forfeiting a 2023 first round pick and a 2024 third round pick. The uh, NFL's commissioner, Roger Goodell, essentially dropping the hammer on the Dolphins here, saying that he hasn't seen anything like this in quite some time. A lot of the improprieties are uh, derived from meetings that people in the, in the Dolphins organization had with uh, future Hall of Famer Tom Brady, and especially going back to his days even with the New England Patriots. Uh, also, Ross was fined $1.5 million and also suspended for more than a month of the upcoming NFL season, so you will not see him in his luxury box with the Dolphins for the time being. So uh, that's huge news as far as the Dolphins losing their first round pick next season. Now what Dolphins fans will be quick to point out is that they already have another first round pick in 2023, courtesy of the San Francisco 49ers. Also some other news and notes in the NFL, Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne are sitting out the Hall of Fame game. That's the first game of the season. It will be played on Thursday. Direct TV is close to a deal with Amazon to air uh, Thursday night football in its bars and restaurants. We got this news yesterday that Dude Perfect is going to host an alternate stream for multiple uh, Thursday night games. Uh, Tristan Worth, another injury to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, one of their offensive linemen hurt at training camp today. And Lewis Hamilton is joining the Denver Broncos ownership group. So lots of news and notes from the NFL, but predominantly the biggest story is how uh, the Miami Dolphins react to this news. Naturally, Brian Flores, the former head coach of the Dolphins, had said that, that – uh, the, uh, the owner of the team was essentially asking him to throw games. And in some of the NFL's uh, findings, they did not really uh, say definitively as to whether or not that was part of it, but definitely improprieties as far as uh, tampering and meeting with other players that are currently on other teams, which is a big no-no in the NFL. 